Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another special night here at Fenway Park. All of us who were here last night enjoyed seeing once again the American League champions from 1986. For many fans, it took them back to their childhood. A mom or dad who today is in their early 40s became a young teenager again. And seeing these players filled our hearts and filled our minds with many vivid memories. Everybody had a favorite member of the Red Sox. Kids would announce to each other, he's my guy. And they would imitate the pitching motions or the batting stance. And baseball is just great that way. This is why the host of members from that era have returned to celebrate the career of a hitter so extraordinary that for so many kids, he was their guy. Let us welcome him now. Ladies and gentlemen, a man who, with all his idiosyncrasies and unique routines, was without the question of the greatest hitters the game has ever known and a gold glove third baseman as well. So, please welcome number 26 forever, Wade Boggs. We now welcome the voice of the Red Sox on WEEI, Red Sox Hall of Famer Joe Castiglione. Thank you, Bob. Wade, we know the only thing that matters to you as much as this honor is the opportunity to share it with your beautiful family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wade's wife, Debbie Boggs. Their son, Brett, and his wife, Kate. Daughter Megan and her husband Billy, and five grandchildren bursting with pride for their grandpa. Aiden, Colin, Madison, Beckett, and Harper. As we all know, Wade was not only one of the greatest hitters in Red Sox history, he was one of the greatest hitters in baseball history. And that's why he is enshrined in Cooperstown. And how grateful we are to have his actual bronze plaque, the one that hangs in our Baseball Hall of Fame, for you to enjoy this evening. Please welcome the president of the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum, Newton native Jeff Idelson, and current Baseball Hall of Famer, Dennis Eckersley. And when Wade was inducted, he went in the hall with another outstanding infielder who was surprising him here tonight. Won't you please welcome back to Fenway Park, Hall of Famer, Ryan Sandberg. In recognition of that spirit, and with his playing days behind him, Wade is now engaging in charitable acts, particularly for children facing the battle with cancer. In recognition of that spirit, please welcome Red Sox Chairman and Red Sox Foundation Chairman Tom Werner and Red Sox Team President Sam Kennedy. Together, they will present a check from the Boston Red Sox in his honor to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation.
This journey that led to Cooperstown and a life of philanthropy began long ago on dusty roads in the minor leagues where a key teacher helped him to relentlessly refine his craft. That pursuit of perfection continued in the major leagues with tutelage from one of the most accomplished teachers in baseball history. Taking some measure of pride and satisfaction as they present their star pupil with a replica of the number that will soon be revealed, please welcome two of the most beloved coaches in Red Sox history, Dick Berardino and Walt Riniak. And on this night, when his number will be retired, we welcome another Hall of Famer whose number is retired. Having made Boston his home for all these years, he is presenting a proclamation from Boston Mayor Marty Walsh, which states that today, May 26, 2016, is Wade Boggs Day in the city of Boston. Joined by Mayor Walsh's Chief of Staff, Daniel Coe, Welcome number 14, Hall of Famer, Jim Rice. For more than 75 years, we have watched some of the greatest left-handed hitters attack the monster with line drives. Perhaps no hitter left his mark more indelibly in left than the man regarded as the greatest hitter who ever lived. And we are so glad that his daughter is here to represent him and to present a piece of the green monster that her father guarded and dented throughout his Hall of Fame career. Here in memory of her father, welcome Claudia Williams, the daughter of number nine, the legendary Ted Williams. Succeeding Ted Williams in left field was the man who today stands alone as the greatest Red Sox player of them all. Perhaps the best left fielder in baseball history, the triple crown winner of the Impossible Dream Champions of 1967, and the man whose clutch hits characterized his amazing 23-year career. A teammate of our honoree, here to present a blue grandstand seat from Fenway Park, welcome the one and only number eight, Hall of Famer, Carl Yastrzemski. And now, take one more look at those numbers. Ted Williams, number nine. Joe Cronin's number four. Bobby Doerr is number one. Carl Yastrzemski's number eight. Carlton Fisk's number 27. Johnny Pesky's number six. Jim Rice's number 14. Pedro Martinez is number 45. And Jackie Robinson's number 42. And now it's time to unveil one more number. There it is, number 26. Congratulations, Wade Boggs. Thank you, Joe. Wow. I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that any day could top July 31st, 2005. Today just did. The greatest day of my life. Today is the final piece of my baseball puzzle. The journey 
started when I was 17 years old in Elmira, New York, and has ended today. And I'm glad that I've come back home. I can't thank Mr. Henry, Mr. Warner, and Mr. Kennedy, and the entire Boston Red Sox organization enough for making this very special day possible. For a player to have their number retired is not a right, it's a privilege. And it's the highest honor any player can receive from an organization. To my managers, thank you for all your guidance and leadership. To my coaches, thank you for the instruction and the knowledge you gave to me, which made me a better player. One coach in particular I'd like to recognize at this time is Walt Riniak. Walter, your tireless supervision and motivation are beyond comparison. From day one, you've always been in my corner. Each and every day, your unwavering commitment to get the best out of me and never let me freelance. One day in particular, the day that I needed you the most, on June 17, 1986, when my mother was killed by a drunk driver, it was the darkest day of my life. And you were there for me, and I am eternally grateful for that. Walter, you are simply the best. And Johnny Pesky, we miss you, Johnny. I wish you were here. Rain or shine, he was always there hitting me ground balls and made me a better third baseman. To my teammates, in the beginning we started out as just a group of ball players. Then we turned into a family. We've laughed together, we've cried together, and, through, and from the fishing trips to the emotional times of coming up short of our ultimate goal to bring a world championship to the great city of Boston, I thank you for your hard work and dedication because friends come and go, but my teammates will last forever. And to the gentlemen of the 86 team that stayed here on this day to come to my ceremony, I am truly honored. Thank you. To my best friend, my wife of 40 years, Debbie. Thank you for being such a terrific wife, great mom, a wonderful nana, and a great yaya. You are my world, you are my rock, and you mean everything to me. I love you to the moon and back. I love you, honey. And speaking of our children, they're here today. Our daughter Megan, along with her family, they've been introduced, and our son Brett. I'm so proud of both of you. You're great children, but you're even better adults. And my agent, Alan Nero, thank you for all the hard work you do, and our representatives from Octagon, thank you. In closing, my number may live up there forever with all the greats to ever put on a Red Sox uniform but you, the great fans of Boston, will forever live in my heart. Thank you for sharing this wonderful day with me. And my family, may God bless. God bless the Boston Red Sox at Boston Strong. Thank you. And now to conclude our ceremony, we will ask Wade to present the ceremonial first pitch to yet another outstanding left-handed hitter, also one of the greatest to ever play the game. Welcome number 34, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Okay, Wade, fire a fastball.
It's a knuckleball. Congratulations, Wade Boggs. You're one of the greatest hitters to ever play the game. And to a generation of Red Sox fans, you were my guy.